Now here's my favorite part of this entire thing. Uh, I'm not happy unless I have, you know, a hundred different sensors on my car. Uh, and being a fuel guy, I always want fuel pressure and fuel temperature. And plumbing them into the car is always a pain in the ass. I mean, you end up with these crazy collection of, of fittings and adapters to get, you know, your fuel pressure sensor in one spot and your fuel pressure uh, temperature in another spot. And by the time you find the appropriate fittings, uh, half of them are the wrong color because, you know, the company that makes one doesn't make the other. And I know those are all minor details, but I really can't stand uh, messy plumbing on automobiles. Uh, and so we decided to make uh, adding pressure and temperature sensors to this system really, really easy. So let's just say that you began with the filter in your car uh, with a standard uh, uh, Dash 8 O-ring fitting here. Uh, everything's installed, working well. You decide, hey, I'd like to have fuel pressure or fuel temperature or even both. <clears throat> so what happens then is we sell you this little kit, the PTS block. And what happens when you get this piece is that you remove your AN fitting from here. You take this little block, you use the two supplied screws, and in about five minutes, you've got this thing installed with your AN fitting threaded back into here. The whole system has gotten wider by a little less than 30 millimeters, and so the chances of you having to do any replumbing are very, very slim. And then what you get is, not surprisingly, a Bosch Motorsport pressure and temperature sensor that reads from negative uh, 40C to 140C and pressure, differential pressure is high, or I'm sorry, gauge pressure as high as 10 bar, which is 145 PSI. And another point that's critical to me, since I've had so many bad experiences with, uh, <laughs> how would I put this? Let's just say that there's some real crappy sensors on the market because there are companies overseas who will make you a sensor, meaning the same sensor they make for everyone else, they'll laser at your name on there, they'll supply you with a data sheet that makes everything look wonderful, then I install four of them in my car because I'm crazy about that, I got you know a pressure sensor in front of the flow meter, after the flow meter to see the pressure loss there, you know, one up at the fuel rail to see how much pressure I lost in the lines, and on and on and on, and uh, I turn the car on or fire the pump up, where everything should be at the same pressure at that point and it's all over the place. Or I just power the system up and I have three different temperature readings when the car's been sitting overnight. You know, it's just, it's nuts the stuff that's out there. And so this is not one of those sensors. This is a Bosch Motorsport sensor. It's a very high accuracy piece. We were able to source it at a good price. So this entire block, in addition to being very easy to add to the system, is relatively inexpensive and in fact, uh, I think I could even go so far as to say that this entire block is not really going to set you back any more than the pieces of junk that are out there and the uh, collection of fittings that are going to be required to add them to the system. So once again, it's quick and simple. We hope uh, that it doesn't even require any replumbing and you get a nice high quality sensor. So uh, that's my favorite part. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Well, I guess that's for the next video.